it's interesting to note that for 40 days in Iraq, we can have health care for 10 million children in America. It's actually fewer than 40 days. Next week, we will be taking up legislation on the spending in Iraq. Uh, Mr. Waxman's committee, the Government Reform Committee, has been having extensive um, hearings on the subject and has exposed a great deal of waste, fraud, abuse, real and deep corruption. As I said before, I've asked the appropriators before they consider any further appropriations uh, to subject the President's request to some very, very close scrutiny in terms of the mission and in terms of the money. On the subject of what is available to the press, I'm very pleased that next week we'll be taking up the SHIELD law. Uh, this is something that's been a personal interest to me after my many years uh, serving on the Intelligence Committee. We have resisted some state secrets kinds of laws that, uh, that the Republican Congress tried to put forth in an earlier Congress, and now we are able to put forth the other side of that coin, a SHIELD law. Uh, you'll see the particulars of it. And the Senate has passed theirs out of committee. Ours was passed out of committee a while ago, but we're bringing it to the floor next week. Bring the Armenian genocide resolution to the floor of the House. Do you have a date in mind? I don't have a date. My, we have next week set up, but, but it will be before the end of this session. Some people think that you may not do it now, that you, you let the committee work its will, and, and that'll be the end of it. Can you tell us that that's not the case? No, I said if it comes out of committee, it will go to the floor. Now it has come out of committee, right. and it will go to the floor. What's your latest count on votes, and how does it look for your chances to override? We're not there yet, but uh, we're still working. What's important to know for us who spend so much time in Washington, D.C., is that across the country, members of Congress and members of the United States Senate of both parties are working uh, with governors across the state to try to get House members uh, to support the override of the President's veto. And so it is a, there's a drumbeat across America for children. It's a strong drumbeat because it is a bipartisan one. And this was a bill built of compromise, bipartisan, bicameral, and uh, the um, and so there's a great deal of activity in the rest of the country. The telephone mm -hmm. companies want to avoid liability. They should fight it out in the courts. Mr. Hoyer has said, well, if the White House hands over documents relating to his warrantless wiretap through program, it might be appropriate <laughs> to give those telephone companies immunity. Where do you stand on the issue? Well, I think that you have to proceed very cautiously with, with retroactive immunity. Uh, Mr. Mr. Uh, Hoyer's statement was very careful, I think. In ter it did not say if they give us these papers, they will get immunity. A lot depends on what those papers say. But these are, uh, these are not uh, individual citizens without their resources. These are major telecom country companies uh, with a phalanx of lawyers who understand the Constitution and the law. And uh, if they have exposure, uh, the courtroom is the place to go. But we do have prospective uh, immunity in the legislation that we are putting forth uh, with a court order. And that is something that the telecom country companies wanted. At first, the administration didn't want to have to have a court order, but the telecom companies decided they couldn't go forward without that. Uh, today, the Prime Minister of Turkey, of Turkey said that uh, he will ask the Parliament, the Parliament for permission uh, to, for an incursion in northern Iraq. What do you think that this will affect the U.S. troops in Iraq? Do you think that, that getting a resolution to the floor, the Armenian resolution, uh, will affect the U.S. troops in Iraq? Do you think that the Prime Minister of Turkey asked the Parliament of Turkey for permission to have an incursion into Iraq because of the Armenian Resolution? I don't think so. This is about Turkey's plans. This isn't about our resolution about a, a genocide. Does the Prime Minister wish to imply that but for the resolution, they wouldn't have this incursion? I don't think so. But as I said, we have a respectful, strong, and long-term relationship with Turkey. Very respectful of the fact that it is a democracy. It was a friend, and we work together in our mutual interest. 